Hello guys, welcome back. Let's go through LAN chain in this video. In this video, there is no code. So I'm not going to write any code and do any kind of use case uh, videos here. But I'm going to show you overall what is LAN chain, how you can assess different things and where you can assess different things. Because the overall thing will be here. There is a LAN chain and there are different components now attached to LAN chain because LAN chain has evolved so much now. It's already one year since it has it was introduced. And now there are there is a different components as I said you as you can see here. What I will be doing is just show you a high level what is LangChain and what is LangSmith, what is LangSorb, what are the templates and how to assess the documents and how to chat with the LangChain documents. Meaning that all these things, what it sums up is that where you can find these resources and how you can utilize these resources so that you can build uh, production grade applications because if you watch different videos and there are many youtube videos as well as many other places that you can learn langchain but the langchain's website itself there are so many things there if you know how to explore the website itself there are many things to cover that is the plan in this video first let's go through the langchain website itself they have revamped the website recently and now you can see that there is this is the main website which is not pointing to any javascript or python python documentations if you just scroll in this website you can see okay what are the different partnerships and what they are and all the different things so you can just go through this and see okay what you can do already one framework infinite use cases so just and you can just go here and see things and on the top also there is langsmith langsorb agents retrieval evaluation blog docs etc and there is this LangChain expression language, which makes easy to make the custom chains. You can just click this. But what I noticed here is from the main LangChain uh, website, all these different links points to the Python documentation. Although they have two different documentations, one is the Python one and next one is the JavaScript. If you scroll all the way down, you can see here that, okay, there is JS and TS docs also because i'm mainly focusing on python so because i'm comfortable in python things but for you also if you want to know the javascript or typescript documentations please go through this link and it will take you to the right place but most of the links apart from this points to the python documentation first thing first let's go up here and it says here go to the docs so let's go to the docs so yeah this is the python documentation as i said you and the URL also points to python.langchain.com. What is here? On the left side, as you can see here, there are some of the getting started kind of things. Because when you are in the website, it's good that you first explore some things here. There is get started, and introduction, installation, quick start. That is how you start things. And then there is security things. There is Langchain expression language, as I said you. And you can just go through the interface, how to use it, cookbooks and things. Just go here, it will minimize things. There are the I input output retrieval agents, and there are other many things also here. And there is LangSorv and the LangSmith. I will go through this later, but now let's go on the top. So, on the top, what we have here is the things here. There are the use cases. If you want to go through what are the different use cases, and by the way, there are many things inside the use cases itself. Let's go through that first. If I go here, as you can see here, there is SQL. Retrieval augmented generations, integrating with API, chatbots, extraction, summarizations, tagging, web scraping, synthetic data generation, and graph query. All when you watch some of the videos or the documentation written by someone, you will be just focused on only one specific things. What I suggest you to do is, and the good part here is that they have provided the link to the collab also. So you can just click this and it will take you to the Google collab and you can just play around with this particular notebook in the collab it's this is really good here and there is this integrations what does integration means if you go here so it has the integrations with different providers so there is aws anthropy google microsoft open ai and there are 187 items more the main idea here is to show you that okay how to go through the different documentations now already i think you are finding it quite overwhelming okay i need to learn so many things how can I go into a specific part and find the information, right? As I showed you in the first diagram also here. So there is this, this is, let's say that this is just an intro part for you. Okay, there are many things there. 
So what I recommend you to start first is instead of going through what I just went through, because that is how we actually go, because we are in the website and we just um, go around different parts of the website. But I recommend you to go through this chat with Langchain Docs. If you go to this website, on the top, there is this chat our docs. I, I will go to the new tab. If I go to the new tab, so this is the new UI here. It says here, ask me anything about Langchain's Python documentation. There are some of the things that is already shown here. You can ask. So how, how do I run model locally? Yeah, let's just click this. So it will give us the sources from where it is taken. And then also the answer, okay, to run model locally, you can do this, this, this kind of things. And there is also the trace that is the Lang Smith. I will show you later that. But then, yeah, here are different uh, links already where you can go through there and just start exploring the things. It makes a lot easier for you to go to that particular space instead of just going through the website itself. And let's say that you are completely new to Langchain. Just, you can just go here and say, okay, what is Langchain? It will show you, okay, what is Langchain and the different links to that particular thing also. So yeah, this is how I hope it's easier for you also to explain, okay, what is Langchain? And you can say, okay, this, these are the things in the Langchain. Okay, what are the different components? Langchain, it will show you also the different components. So there are the components of the Langchain. It gives you already the documentation. So you can go here. Okay, there are the different components. So it's easier so that you can explore as you go into it. This is uh, the chat with the docs part. And if you go on this also by Langchain, this is really good that there is the Lang Smith. What does this mean? Lang Smith, if I click this, it will take us to the website, but you need to get approved first because I was using this since long time. So I have already been approved, but you need to get approved here. What is Lang Smith? I have already created many videos in Lang Smith already. This is the place where all the traces of your uh, applications or the, the the call that you make to the large language models are being shown here so that you can go here and debug all the things that is how the language smith works it's difficult in the beginning just to say okay this is what it does but if you go through some videos and uh, you will be knowing okay what this is exactly meant for now let me go back to the documentations and here there is langsorb what is langsorb let me go to the github page this is how we explore so it says Langsorb, we will be releasing a hosted version of Langsorb of one click deployment of Langchain applications. This is just uh, recently introduced. So this is how you can deploy your Langchain applications using the different templates also. I will not go through each and every steps here, but you get the idea that you can sorb your, your LLM applications using Langsorb. And also you can use different uh, templates. So if you go down here, there is showing this Langchain template. So you can use different templates and already use that in this Langsorb in order to, to post or let's say in order to deploy some Langchain applications. And what next? What do I have here? So templates, Langsorb, Langsmith, chat with docs. So Langchain Hub. What is Langchain Hub? Let me go to the website here. If you go to this thing, it will show us, okay, Langchain Hub. It will take us to the hub. So, so smith.langchain.com. So this is inside the Langsmith website itself here what you can do is there are different let's say prompts already uh, being uploaded by someone else so let's say that you want to know something so there is top top view let's say there is this rag prompt if you go inside this this is a prompt for retrieval augmented generation it is useful for chat qa and other applications that rely on passing context to an llm there are already 31.8k views so if you go inside this you can see that someone has provided us this particular thing already in the Langchain hub itself. You can quickly use this. I have already created a video also and there are many videos out there. You can just go through this and quickly use this. As you can see here, you can just use these two lines of code in order to use this object in the Langchain itself. So you don't need to write all the different things. As you can see here, there are different things. There is loading documentation, split, splits, uh, story splits, rack prompt. There is LLMs, there is retrieval QA, there is the question and all the different things. All these things is already being provided to you here. As you can see here, this is the rack prompt. And in the code itself, if you go here, there is this rack prompt. So here is what it is being provided here. Meaning that 
you don't need to go through each and every things yourself so you can you can write minimal code and you can use some of the some of the things already provided in the hub in order to achieve what you want to achieve so i will i will i would suggest you to go through this and the good part of this is also that you can upload your own prompts here and then other people can also view that particular thing just explore this and also i would recommend you to watch the videos and good part here is as you can see here use cases you can just filter out from here let's say i want to go through the sql i go through sql it says text to sql you can go inside this this is the prompt for sql so it says here prompt for text to sql and the prompt can be used in as shown below as you can see here so this is how we initialize and down here so there is some way that is being used so here as you can see pull down the prompt from the hub you pull that prompt and then you initialize the model and so that is how quickly you can use things in order to make your applications what is the next thing that i want to cover Langchain expression language let me go through that also now because it was on the first page i think here do we have it here no chat with dogs api more this is not here now let me go let me go and search here because this is how you just explore the things that's what i'm doing here by the way i can just say here lang chain expression and then here is already the expression language documentation so you can just go through here it takes you to the page where it is what is this Language and expression language or LCL is a declarative way to easily compose chains together. You can go through here and there is the interface. You can go here and maybe there are how to things also. And okay, bind the run times. There is also the example being shown here. So you can just try this uh, yourself wherever you want to try it. That is how it works. And let's say that all these things are shown you. And let's say you, you want to go with a no code kind of things. They say that or no code or low code kind of things. There are also two different mainly used two different platforms. One is the Flowwise that is build LLMs apps easily. It is built on top of Langchain. So let's say that this is uh, UI for Langchain. Why use Flowwise? Open source, build fast, extensible components, and so. I have already created videos in Flowwise also. You can refer to that in order to know what is flow wise as well as how you can create the applications with just drag and drop as you can see here you are just dragging some components and then uh, combining different components and having the conversation with the large language models one is the flow wise and the next one is lang flow it is similar concept but one is written in python next one is written in typescript or i think i think it is typescript somewhere yeah typescript is our script site so written is node uh, typescript and javascript this is two different things but doing uh, almost let's say the same thing uh, but you can use the one that you find uh, best for your use cases as i said you before also the website has recently been uh, made quite good because in the beginning it was not seen now you can just go to the main docs and yeah for high level things they have also introduced different uh, figures in the documentation itself as you can see how it is built on top of uh, each other. I think this language speaks a lot of things about Langchain itself. Let me actually go through it. So in the lower, there is this protocol here. So it says LCEL. So you can go through this. And there is this integration components, right? So there is model input output. There is retrieval and there is agent tooling. And then there is this application where there is chains, agents, and agent ex executors. This is the common application logic. And that you can build either by Python or either by the JavaScript. That's what I showed you in the beginning also. There is documentation for Python as well as documentation for the JavaScript or TypeScript. So that is what it is shown here. And next we have the templates, the reference applications. And then there is the LangSorve chains as REST APIs. And then that is for deployment. And now you want to see how all the things are being supplied to the large language model. Let's say that you have input, output. What was the input? What was the output? You can do many things in the Lang Smith itself. What I recommend you to do is go through at least one of the videos. I have already created videos. It's not necessary that you need to watch mine, but you can go and watch some of the videos. You will get the idea how you can use Lang Smith. It's quite powerful tool there. And inside Lang Smith, there is Lang Chain Hub, as I said you before. Also, what did I miss next? 
And there is the API things. If you want to know how LangChain API works, you can go through this. I can cancel this and there is all the API experimental Python docs and all the different things. I hope now you get high level idea just by going through one or two examples, you cannot uh, learn what is LangChain and how you can use the LangChain because I have seen in my comments in the YouTube videos also that someone is asking how to do this and why it is not working because it's evolving and the documentation that is now might not work in the future. There is update happening. You need to be uh, updated as it happens. The best way to do is going through the actual documentations itself. If you know how to do things, let's say that you are using some models from the hogging face, let's say. And if you know how to do things by one model, it is not that difficult just to replace with another model, right? You need to know at least these kind of things, how to use template, how to use the prompt template and how to sort the models, how to use different models and then do some research yourself also at least how you can improve the application that you are building. As I said you, there are many things in the documentation itself. And by the way, I have created, as I said you before, also many videos of LangChain already. There are almost 34 videos. You can go through here, which I just explained you. There is LangFlow, there is FlowWise, how you can use QBeer, what is private GPT, and what are the use cases of LangChain, what are the components of LangChain, chat, CSV, and all the different things. You can just go through here and just know different things related to LangChain. And one more thing that I want to show you is if you go to the official documentation, as I said, python.langchain.com, on the last, there is this link to the Discord, Twitter, homepage, blog, Python, JavaScript, TypeScript. And I recommend you to, if you have social media account in Twitter, I recommend you to follow them on the Twitter because all the recent developments are being updated there daily, let's say. And not daily, but they are updating as much as they can. And also in the Discord, there is active community there. You can go through there. And one very, very important thing is about the blog post because they have really good blog post, let's say LangChain blog, where they explain all the things in detail. Because what I do also is reference many things from the blog itself. And the blog is written quite well and step by step things are explained here. I highly recommend you to go through this. And recently there was a partnership with Microsoft also and they did the partnership with Redis also. And yeah, there are many things happening with LangChain and I hope having the knowledge of LangChain is crucial if you want to go in the field of large language models or AI in general. So yeah, that's all for this video. I hope you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.